The new movie Twisters has captivated audiences during its first week in the box office. The film features severe thunderstorms, destructive tornadoes, and some pretty cool storm chases. Now, tornadoes are nothing new, but it is something that meteorologists in real life are continuing to study. I caught up with some of those meteorologists at Millersville University to see how they're translating a passion for severe weather to life-saving research. Indescribable. That's the feeling Gabe Keller felt seeing a recent tornado. I don't even know if I could be, begin to describe it because at first it's like, oh my gosh, like that's a tornado. The rising senior at Millersville University has been captivated by tornadoes for as long as he can remember. His first experience with this destructive weather, the Campbelltown tornado of 2004. So I remember just running to the basement and I was like, wow, like what makes, like why do people like, have this reaction? And why does, why does the wind get so crazy? 20 years later, Gabe is now part of a research project called Tilting. Kyle Elliott is one of his advisors. Tilting, essentially, we're chasing tornadoes in the Great Plains in the Northeast, and we want to see what the cloud or how the cloud base impacts the start of a tornado. So if the cloud base is higher in the sky, does it make it harder for a tornado to form? If the cloud base is closer to the ground, does it make it more easy for a tornado to touch down? to try to put a balloon in a pre-storm environment to see like you know what's going on what what is a storm that may form going to be working with here when it does form and then we would try to keep up with the storm to try to launch them into the inflow of the storm to see you know what's being pulled in and see what's going on that balloon carries a cup with instruments inside to gather information students can then take that data back to school to do their research and while storm chasing to send these balloons often comes with a thrill keller says there's still some pretty big differences between between his chases and what you might see in the movies. I think one of the most unrealistic expectations is that that you can that you can draw from the movie is that you'll see a tornado to begin with. Oh, she's perfect. She's gorgeous. From personal experience, you'll probably bust 10 times before you get one hit, and that can be frustrating. It's it, and we definitely felt that when we were out in the plains. Finding that perfect storm often comes with miles of driving, constantly updating forecasts, checking radar, and navigating new roads, all while keeping safety at top of mind. I've learned a lot about how to multitask. <laughs> The information these students collect is vital to improve both weather forecasts and human safety for a phenomenon we still don't know a lot about. It's very important to learn more about them because lead times still are not great. They've really improved significantly over the last 20 years, but there can always be more improvements. Oh, just the coolest work yeah. that they're doing. Now, uh, the Tilting Project, they're currently fundraising. They're hoping to get back out to the Great Plains next year. We have more information if you want to maybe support them or learn more about them. That's all up on fox43.com. What an awesome experience, oh, for yeah. sure. Now, I haven't seen the movie yet. I've seen some clips, though. I mean, how realistic? You talked a little bit about it there, but how realistic is it what we see on the big screen? You know, I think compared to the first Twisters movie, this one, they went above and beyond. The team from Twisters, the movie, met with meteorologists out west. You can even see some cameos from yeah. the Weather Prediction Center and some of the meteorologists there. So they really worked to understand the background. Right. Glenn Powell had to sit through a meteorology class for three hours before he started filming the movie. So they're using the research. jargon really properly in the movie, which I think is just phenomenal work there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I could talk all day about Glenn Powell, but we'll do that Me another time. Me too. <laughs> oh, such a good movie. But hey, let's get to our forecast. Things thankfully really quiet at home.